Hi, my name's Mark Gallagher. I'm from Dundalk, Ireland, and I'm committed to play at the University of Washington. So growing up, my family moved around a lot. We moved to different countries like Jamaica, Singapore, the US and Ireland, of course. And every time we would move, we'd be looking for schools and houses. But the one thing on my mind was always soccer. I wanted a team to play for. I just wanted to be involved in the sport. And every time we moved, I found a new team and I settled in. And that kind of gave me a taste of a bunch of different cultures, how they play. So. Growing up, I would go to a new country and I'd be playing a completely different style of soccer than, than all the other kids. And it was just really interesting to see that. And the main reason I played soccer was because of my two older brothers. They both inspired me a lot to play. They were both very good growing up. And I just wanted to be, both, uh, I wanted to be like them so much. So I played, even though I hated it when I first started. Um, but gradually getting older, I remember I was around seven, eight years old. We had just moved to Singapore and I couldn't get enough of soccer. I was outside all day, every day playing in front of our garden, everything, every single day I was playing. And uh, then we moved back and forth and I kept playing. And so when I was 14, uh, I was playing in Ireland and uh, it was going really well. I was playing for my local club, Rock Celtic and I had got picked to play with this team which was comprised of all the teams in our league. It would be the equivalent to an ODP in America. Uh, but this team, if you had made the team, then you were like, like you had made it. Like you were officially like a really good player. Everyone in town would pretty much know that you're on the team and they'd know that you're one of the players who's, who's good. Uh, so we had tryouts for the team. They all went really well. Uh, towards the end, I didn't know if I was gonna make it. I was really worried, but I got a, coach, uh, a call from the coach and they said, you made the team and I was just so happy. And there was a big tournament that summer that everyone was excited to go to and it was a really big tournament. Every big team in Ireland was gonna be there. And in the weeks leading up to the tournament, we played a few games. I played pretty well. I started a few, got subbed on in a few, but I was creating chances. I had one or two goals and a handful of assists, but I thought the performances that I, that I put out were, were really solid and uh, I was excited for the tournament. But I got to the tournament, obviously still excited, and we had six games and I played 20 minutes in total. I didn't see the field at all really. I got put on for 20 minutes at the end of a game. We were already winning 4-0, 5-0, I think. Um, and that really crushed me. Uh, as a 14 year old, I was the youngest guy on the team by far. I was the only person in my year or my grade on the team. Uh, and I was just, I felt so small. I felt useless at the time. And that was when I really started thinking about coming to America. Uh, and I talked to my brother and my dad and they both said it's the best uh, it's the best opportunity you're gonna get so I was gonna go in my ninth grade year but they didn't think I was quite ready so we waited another year I kept developing um, I put on a lot of weight considering I was like five foot six at the time uh, I got injured and uh, I grew to around six foot in during that injury so that was difficult to kind of relearn how to play. I was a completely different person pretty much when I came back from injury. I was like eight inches taller or something, or six inches taller, uh, and I was a lot heavier. Uh, so uh, coming back from injury and coming back from uh, probably the most heartbreaking moment of uh, my soccer career, uh, that was really difficult, but 
I just kept thinking to myself that I have an opportunity and I've got to take it and people have been set back in the past before and they've gotten through it so why can't I and that's really what pushed me to, to keep going. Uh, eventually my brother started playing with Notre Dame in college here and uh, he had already been playing in England before but he decided he wanted to come here to get an education and to play and he played at Notre Dame for four years, did really well, got drafted to Atlanta United uh, and he's now playing in the MLS for Austin FC and seeing how well he did and what he made of himself. I was playing in Ireland at the time, uh, or I think my freshman year of high school and I was playing in Ireland and I decided I've got to go to the US, it's the best opportunity. My dad had already been living in Minnesota for a year, or like half a year, and I just thought I've got to find a team out in Minnesota and that's going to give me the best opportunity to play professional soccer and play at the highest level I can. So we started looking for teams and schools and originally I was going to try out with Minnesota United and uh, play high school on the side as well uh, and then eventually we found Shattuck and I came out here for a visit and it went really well I loved the campus it was so nice even though it was winter time when I visited and it was really cold I still loved it the facilities here were everything you could dream for and uh, I was a bit unsure about moving countries and being in dorms by myself at 15, 16. Um, but I kept thinking back to when I was younger, I would have done anything to be in a position like this. And I have the whole world on my feet right now. So I decided that I was gonna move across the world to play soccer and just give myself a chance, which was all I ever wanted. So when I first arrived at Shattuck, I was super nervous, but more than anything, I was just excited. Uh, I couldn't wait to start training, and it was a lot of training, like five days a week, every week. It was a lot, uh, but I was all here for it. I wanted to do it, and seeing the culture around here with the hard work that every single person puts in, it just inspired me even more to work harder. Uh, so I came my sophomore year. It was going, Decently, we had a we had a pretty decent team. Uh, we really started to pick things up uh, towards March, which is of course when COVID hit, and everyone just went back home, and it was just really upsetting because I thought we were having a great year and uh, things were really starting to pick up. We had a shot at making playoffs, and it all got taken away. But that's just life. That's what happens. Um, so I flew back to Ireland and I stayed in Ireland for the whole of COVID pretty much. And something happened that was completely unexpected. I just completely fell out of love with soccer uh, during COVID. There was about two months where I didn't even kick a ball. And then eventually restrictions were lifted in Ireland a little bit. I got to see my friends for the first time in a while. And one of our friends, we were on a walk and he brought out a ball and we started kicking it around and there was just something about the simplicity of kicking a ball that just brought back every ounce of love I had for the game. And I was pretty unsure about coming back to Shattuck the next year because of this two month stint of, of not really having passion for the game. And as soon as that walk was over with my friends, I knew that I was coming back the next year. So. I kept training, kept working hard, and we came back to Shattuck the next year, and Coach Boucher told me that I would be with the 19s team, which was expected, but I wasn't too sure about how I would mold into that group, because I was, I think, the second youngest guy on the team, and it was just, it was a group of, of people who I hadn't really played with before. Um, but. We started off, off the year pretty slow and uh, I, play, I played the nine last year and we weren't racking up really any goals. It was pretty a pretty tough year with COVID. Uh, one of my roommates left, also one of my best friends and uh, 
it was a pretty tough year, my junior year, but we kept going on with it. And eventually, again, we started picking things up. And uh, I started talking to a few colleges, emailing back and forth. But there was something about when I emailed UW that just really interested me. And I remember telling my dad, I emailed them in, them in October, and I remember telling him in November after our fourth or fifth email, I said, I'm gonna commit to this school. This is where I'm going. I had already looked at all the education. They had the courses that I wanted. The location was great, because obviously I'm not from here, so I'm not tied down to one region uh, where family would be, because I don't really have family in the US. And it was just the perfect looking school for me. The coaches were really, really nice. They they were interested in me, they showed a lot of interest in me, and that was the school that I really wanted to go to. But I kept my options open, um, and up until around December is when I really locked in on UW. That was where I, I started talking to the coach about committing, but he said, we want you to come out here and check the school out first. So we'll hold this commitment off for a little bit, but once you get a chance to come out, then, uh, then you can make your decision. But <clears throat> because of restrictions and stuff, we couldn't really go on visits. So I just played out the whole rest of the season. And again, we started picking things up pretty slow uh, and pretty late in the year, but we did pick things up um, and we had to, uh, we had to win a couple games, which we weren't expected to win really. We were kind of the underdogs last year, uh, but somehow, the boys pulled through and we got a spot in playoffs just by pure luck really um, and I had to go back home and renew my visa so I didn't get to go to playoffs last year which was really upsetting um, I watched the, the 17s uh, their playoff run and just watching that even though they got knocked out just made me want to come back the next year and and I wanted to, I wanted to make something happen this year with the guys because uh, I knew we were good enough, and everyone, everyone wants it this year. So I was really excited to come back this year, and uh, I visited Washington in May right before I had to leave, and uh, yeah, that was my my college visit, and I I committed on my visit pretty much uh, officially committed on my visit. Uh, even though I'd verbally committed prior to that. So we were trying to find times for me to visit, which was really difficult because I was leaving. Um, but since we knew we were leaving, we tried to find a time where I could see one of my brother's games. And he just so happened to be playing Seattle Sounders uh, the same week that they were free for a visit. So we went to the game. It was really cool. I got to see my brother. And the whole time, the only thing on my mind was I'm going on my visit tomorrow. Am I ready? All of this, I'm super worried. But uh, we got into Seattle, stayed at the hotel that night after seeing the game. And then the next morning we got picked up, got dropped off to the school and uh, we, we got into the sports facilities. And I remember looking around and being blown away, seeing just how professional the people around me were acting and there was just like this huge training facility and the trainers as well. I walked through the whole facility, the weight room, everything was just insane looking. And every person I met was so welcoming and they already all knew my name, which was really, really cool, really unexpected. But um, we walked around, I met a couple of the guys, we went for breakfast and lunch and I remember walking around the school and I just looked at my dad and we were both just smiling from cheek to cheek. We were both so excited to be there. It was the coolest experience and uh, pretty much from the second I stepped on campus, I knew I wanted to go to this school. The campus was beautiful. The training facilities were out of this world and every person that I met was just super kind, welcoming and the coaches, I had already spoke to them but meeting them in person was no different. They were just they were just as nice, just as cool, and just really, 
really good guys, I could tell. And uh, same with the people on the team that I met. And yeah, that was what really sealed the deal. I, I knew from that moment that I wanted to go there and I'd made the right choice. And to this day, I still think that I made the right choice. Uh, any advice that I would give for someone who's trying to play D1? Uh, it doesn't matter the level that you're playing at. If you're good enough, a coach will recognize that and you have to put in the work. And you know if you're putting in the work, um, others around you will know if you're putting in the work. And you just have to be honest with yourself and say, am I doing what's right for myself? Am I doing what's needed? And just keep going, just keep reaching out to, pl uh, to places, to different coaches, different colleges. Like I said, it doesn't matter the level you're playing at. You can be playing high school, you can be playing MLS next. You'll, you'll be committed somewhere if you're good enough. Um, and don't get discouraged by smart, or small setbacks, by colleges not coming back to you. Don't be discouraged by it because it happens to everyone, it happened to me. You'll find the place that's right for you and you'll know that it's right. And then the last thing that I would say is just have fun while you're playing, play with confidence. If, you're, if you know you're good, you're good. Play with that confidence, play like you can do what you think you can do. And uh, yeah, just have fun. It's, it's not something that you get to do for the rest of your life. So the time that you have on the fields, just take advantage of it and, and play your heart out, is what I'd say. Uh, thank you for listening to my story and I hope this helped some people. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.